In the last video we saw how easy it was to edit content on a Perch site using the default templates. The power of Perch really comes though when you start to create your own templates with the exact markup you need for your site. So to demonstrate this, let's create the slide area at the top of this home page. This area uses some JavaScript to switch between the different panels. If we take a look at the source, we can see here that each slide is just marked up, it's just in the HTML here. So here's slide 1, 2 and 3 and the content is inside there. Now there's various ways in Perch that you can mark this up. We could make this a multiple item region, we could do it as a repeater. However, because we're just getting started, let's keep this simple and make each one a region that uses the same template to display the content. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy out the markup. I can then use this as a template. Now templates live inside the Perch folder in Templates and in Content because this is normal content, Perch content templates. So we'll create a new one here and I'm going to call it Home slide.html So templates are HTML files, they're basically fragments of HTML and to start with I'm just going to paste in the HTML from the slide. So we can now start to make this editable. The first thing we have here is a heading. So we'll remove the content and we need to add a perch template tag. And we'll give this an ID of heading and say type equals smart text. That's a text type that will convert things like quotes into proper curly quotes. We need to give it a label which will appear in the control panel. So that label is going to be heading. And then I think I'll give it some help. So let's say this will form the clickable heading. So you can add help text to help your content editors as you go through. And I want people to fill this in because I need it for the heading. So let's say required equals true. And I'm going to do the same thing for my subheading. We'll give this one ID of subheading. Again, it can be smart text. And you give it there a label of subheading. Now next we've got an image here and this is just there in the source. But what we actually need to do is make this into a perch image type. And this will allow people to select an image when they're in the control panel. They can select or upload an image to put into the content. Once again, it's a perch content tag. The type of image. And then there's some special attributes for images uh, because images are sort of different, aren't they? You can set a width and a height and so on. And um, what we want is to stop people uploading enormous images. Uh, so we're going to set some size information here. So I'd like this to be scaled to 520. So we're going to have a square image. And because we want that specific size, I'm going to say crop is true. So if they upload something which is different, it will get cropped to that size. And then we've got alt text for an image. See this tag is creating the SRC attribute, the value of that. We're then going to want an alt attribute, which is a description of the image. So again, we just add this as a perch tag. So finally, we've then got the actual content of the slide. And we're going to want to make that a text area type, so a sort of a larger text field. So again, this needs a body. 
the type is going to be text area. And here we've got some attributes for what type of editing we can have. So I'm going to use Markdown here. If you're using WYSIWYG editor, you'd need to use HTML here instead of Markdown. And I'm going to say editor simple MDE. That's one of the editors that ships with Perch. Now, when you use something like Markdown or WYSIWYG editor with HTML, that will usually insert paragraph tags for you. So that's why I've removed the paragraph tags around this content because we don't want to end up with double ones. So then we save our template. I can now go back to the page and delete that content. And we're now going to add some perch content here, some regions so that we can select our template. So we have some perch content. And I'm going to call this one slide one. I'm just going to add three regions so I can copy that and we can do the same for our other two slides. So this one becomes slide two. And this one becomes slide three. And we save this. Then if we go back to the browser and reload it, the slides have all now disappeared. And if we go into our admin and reload that, We've got these new regions. Let's click on home page. Because we've now got more regions in the home page, we go to this intermediary screen where we can pick the region we want to edit. There's our intro from earlier. We can now go to slide one and we need to pick a template. So I'm now going to pick my home slides template that we've just created and we submit the form. And we've now got this edit form in the control panel. You can see this is slide one and it's got a heading, subheading, image, image description, which is the alt text and a space for the body. So these are all the fields that you added in your template. They've now become the editing form for the admin. So we can fill this in and we can choose an image. You can drag and drop or you can just pick something. I would say use selected. And we just save the changes here. And if we go back to the site and reload, you'll see we've got our first slide and you can then go through and you can add the same content and use the same template for your other slides because all the templates are the same and you'll end up with your three different slides. So that's the start of creating templates with Perch. And if you follow on through these videos, you'll find some new tips and tricks in terms of making your templates more useful and coping with different kinds of content.